Let's show you my one month Clash of Clans progress. After restarting the game and playing through actively, what does my base look like after 30 days? Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. In this series you have already seen the 24 hours and one week progress. Fun fact, this video is being recorded 5 minutes before the one week period is up, but we are still into the one month period. So this video focuses on 3 weeks of gameplay. I want to make sure as soon as we hit Town Hall 5, we hit the ground running with an abundance of loot. So I have some waiting here in the free challenge gold pass, whatever this is, up until Town Hall 7. And we also have a practice map to hit alongside some other goblin maps. Now, why don't I just do this one first? Because, well, we can do it pretty easily. Then I'll do a quick farming attack and we'll come back as we upgrade to Town Hall 5. was a little bit too close to call to be honest with you but at least we got the three stars i love finding bases like this check if there are any clan castle troops and if there are not you can actually use archers in areas where they will be free from the defenses so right across here by the gold mines and whilst you could sit and wait you can actually force close the app then when you return to clash of clans the match will have actually been played out. So I got a ton of loot and then I can get right back into farming. Again, pretty nice loot here. I can just use a few barbarians and archers in order to clear out the gold mines. Might as well do the same with the elixir storages. Can use a couple of giants just to make sure we get all of this loot. Beautiful. Once we hit Town Hall 5, I built all of the new buildings, but I should have been more active. Basically, when you have the Town Hall boost, it gives you some cool perks that you want to take advantage of. Now, I was at work the entire weekend. Many of you know this is kind of my main gig now, but I still do shifts at our local hospital. So that's where I can't just always play Clash of Clans, unfortunately. I wish I could have done more on this account for you, but that's where I want to thank you all for subscribing to the channel using code judo helping financially so that i can bring you guys more videos and even better videos i want to show you real quick because i haven't really done too many attacks my builders have been working relatively the whole time and what it has meant whoa Let's actually go ahead and collect these because I'm trying to assure that I am continually building the mines and pumps. They take quite a long time, but in the long run, we will get more loot passively. I have noticed, though, that my gold is always mismatched. Like, we have all of these walls to upgrade, 20,000 per wall, and there's 100 walls, and that's even when we get them to that stage. That is 2 million gold, by the way. And yet, for the elixir, I've actually maxed the lab. Yes, I can unlock the wizard, so there's an extra level there, perhaps. But there's such a mismatch. Most of the upgrades are indeed gold. We can get the spell factory as well, which is definitely a huge upgrade giving us the lightning spell but honestly i think i'm just going to focus right now on why don't we do these practice maps why don't we do that we have indeed done all of the practice maps on my main account i will bring you a speed run for them at some stage let's get this done using the giant and the wall breaks now my builders are going to be free in a couple of hours so that's actually why i'm doing this i'm not really going to lose any loot in that time and you can save the practice maps for when you really need the loot because it's there it's not going to be stolen from somebody else and that's basically why i like saving them alongside these single player maps i sent the goblins in before the practice map told me to how many do we lose oh no oh that wasn't too bad actually i don't think we lost any there so we should take note of that for when i do the practice map speed run Okay, finally, that 
Map is completed. Thank you so much. I never know which button to press there. It's always a bit strange. But what I'm going to do is both of these practice maps, and when the builders are available, we'll get the spell factory, and I will concentrate on upgrading the barracks. So I'll put all of the elixir into the upgrades, and all of the gold I will plow through as many walls as we can. So I will be able to spend this loot, and the base will look a little bit different next time you see it. Now, this practice map, I know can catch people out. Oh, and I should have saved a balloon. I know there's a red air bomb down this area that you can actually set off. Oh, I've still got five balloons. So I'm actually going to only send four and watch this. There we go. That's going to be very helpful for my balloons as they cruise on into the defenses. And again, for the practice maps, we now need to sit. I think the last one was about two minutes or so. Sped it up for you guys. I'll be nice. Let's do the same again. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I was able to respond to six of you in the comments section during that attack. So pretty awesome, to be honest with you. However, we need to wait until the builders are ready. Then I will upgrade the elixir buildings, plow all of the gold into the walls. I'll make sure to do all of these level one walls first. And that actually brings a pro tip. You should always upgrade your base from the lowest defenses down over. The archer tower, which is level three, is 20,000 gold. It's only three hours to upgrade and we get six damage per second. If we go to the Archer Tower, which is level four, now it's 80,000, five hours to upgrade and we only get five damage per second. So the lower upgrade will actually improve our base more than the more expensive one. And that is where when you build the new buildings at a town hall level, yes, there's priorities such as upgrading the clan castle as you get higher up, maybe your heroes getting them to level five, but you should always have one or two builders focusing on the cheaper upgrades because actually it will improve the strength of your base even more. Hi guys, we are just past the two week mark and I did want to give you a bit of an update here because I'm going to be busy for around about the next week. Whilst I still will be playing, I won't be able to record. Now, there is a challenge in the game right now. And what is cool about this is check out the amount of loot in the top corner. One million. Now, by the time this video is released, the challenge will probably be gone. But let's head back to the home village because I want to show you this. One million is the amount I can house. And again, I'm a little bit frustrated that the elixir is basically done right now. I can upgrade a gold mine, actually. But that is probably the last elixir upgrade. It is all gold from this point. So the elixir does not matter. However, what I can do is go ahead and attack this challenge, but not get the three star. Let me explain why. Let me show you. Okay, did you see that? I quit. I did not even get a star, but look at the loot. I have not capped off. I think if I had left it a little while longer, I might have capped off. And I can go back to the event, and the loot that is remaining is right there. So that's a nice little pro tip. It would be nice if my storages were able to just have all of that. But if you are a lower town hall level and there is an event going on, be sure to do that. Just take the loot necessary even if it's to upgrade the walls or whatever you need to do and leave the rest there because nobody else can steal that loot and it means you're also not wasting it. But let's go ahead, since I'm struggling to concentrate on two things at once, and figure out if we can get all of the walls completely done. Oh, I am not quite going to be able to upgrade all of the walls. However, what I think I might do is upgrade our town hall to town hall six. It is one day in upgrade time. There is over two days left for the event, and that means that the one million elixir would not be wasted. 
Let's actually just get a little upgrade going in the background whilst I farm up all of the gold required. I can get some of the elixir from the challenge, but I don't want to get all of it. And even though we've got a couple of buildings left to go, we are virtually a maxed Town Hall 5. That's pretty good for just over two weeks of progress. Okay, we are back one and a half weeks later, just two days before this account has been active for one month. Now, I have been trying to keep my builders busy. However, you can see all of the obstacles spawned around the outside of the base. You always want to take them down because of the free gems. We have our third builder, but you obviously want to work towards the fourth and the fifth. I have been slowly working through the builder's base. I will be rushing that in order to try and get the sixth builder. I'm actually going to bring you an episode with that entire progress. How long does it take me? Be sure to subscribe in order to see that however i want to give you a little bit of a progress update i have been to supercell hq for the last week and that's why i haven't been able to record i've been trying to upgrade my laboratory virtually done why don't we get the balloons upgrading and i believe that is the last upgrade nothing else to train in the lab i do have a couple of other buildings and i specifically have not built these buildings even though i should have because i wanted to reiterate for anybody that missed those first episodes that you should prioritize as soon as you unlock them a gold mine elixir collector this is passive resources and you should also prioritize the storages as well because that means you can house more you get more from the magic items so arguably do as i say not as i do let's see if we can actually build a lot of these new buildings now i've been saving some of the rewards here from the little mini free to play season pass i guess and again once we get to town hall 7 i think i'm going to purchase the gold pass on this account look at this an extra 25 points gets us 1 million gold but what are we going to use the elixir on research five upgrades okay so we will complete that pretty soon the wizard towers we could complete in multiplayer though that is within our control within the next couple of minutes now i can upgrade the barracks 16 hours it's getting rather late in the day so i am actually going to be offline so i should probably go ahead and upgrade that and if i could get the other 700,000 elixir that might be worth it but why don't we build before we build the sweeper why don't we build the other traps because again this is going to make our base even stronger and i should probably rearrange my base as well because i haven't had time to do so since upgrading to town hall 6. 25 more wall pieces and this is again going to be gold in order to upgrade where am i using all of this elixir a sweeper is six hours i should actually just about still be awake in six hours so let's go ahead and build that and i can get something else upgrading overnight when that happens why don't we do a quick farming attack Oh, now this base has 213,000 gold but what i am thinking is even if we don't get the win, maybe I could take out both of these wizard towers alongside potentially getting a lot of that gold. Because remember, we only needed to take down two other wizard towers. So let's check the clan castle troops. Nothing in that region. Could we snipe any buildings here? This will help to make sure that we can actually punch in towards the wizard towers a little bit quicker. Now you should always do this. You're not really going to time fail at this level cannon picked off one of the archers there maybe i just misplaced it i'm going to place a couple of other archers so that i can speed up this process but what it means is once i've taken down these buildings on the outside i can then deploy my giants to tank the wizard towers and close right on in there we go let's use the giants now alongside the barbarians let's unleash all of the archers come on at least get those wizard towers Come on, archers, target the wizard towers whilst the giants are there. I'm hoping we can get the gold storages as well. Really need that wizard tower down. There's one and two of them down. The mortars are providing quite a bit of damage here, but we should be good to get the gold. Can we actually get the elixir as well? That's pretty good. We've got the two wizard towers. That is the challenge complete. And as long as you're spreading your barch, 
You don't need the win. Let's save my one giant from humiliation. There we are. We got a good amount of gold. And when we look here, yes, one million gold. However, should I collect it right now or not? Let's take a look at this. The most expensive upgrade, the clan castle, yes, would be good to upgrade 12 hours. But we can upgrade wizard tower 12 hours and once my next builder is free once the air sweeper that was it is built i can then collect the 1 million and it means if i am attacked in the meantime i'm not going to lose as much loot so later on tonight i will collect this i will get the clan castle upgraded and then we will update you in two days time right before the one month is out here we are pretty much the end of the month literally on the buzzer so we need to speed through the final little bits here let's collect all of the free gems that i have been able to get from the profile and the achievements i think this is where i'm going to be trying to get towards that fourth builder we can collect the loot from the loot cart you should always do that by the way because the loot cart only ever goes up if you are inactive or you lose more loot than what you previously did on the defense. So basically every time you log in, collect that loot card. Looks like we have some in the treasury. Because what I am going to do is upgrade these level one walls. Now I built them when we got to this town hall level and I have left them. I always focus on keeping the builders working, particularly because I haven't been as active in that last week with traveling to Supercell. We only got two levels of walls, so we've still got a little bit to go because this is where the wall grind starts getting real. I haven't really been upgrading the walls. That's why I'd left the level ones because it's all about builder management and making sure that you are focusing on that. Let's actually get a different base design. Please don't be obscured by the obstacles. Let's remove this base, actually. And you know what? That's not too bad. We've got a couple of buildings that we can certainly... Why don't we get rid of this stone? Because I'm always trying to keep the stones. If you did not know, they don't respawn onto your base like the elixir ones. Do we have this style? This one looks a little bit different. Do we have it anyway? Is that the same one? If it is, I'm going to remove it. I think it is. Yes. So let's remove this. I know. I'm a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to special obstacles like this. And I would class the stones as special obstacles because, like I said, they do not spawn back over. So I think that's going to be all of the wall pieces. Correct. I'm guessing the cannon goes there. Just throwing that out there. Something goes in this region, but I'm not removing... Well, I guess I could. We've got a few of them. Let's get rid of it. We have a different base layout, and it's mainly just for the comparison part of the video. This is the type of base you want to find when you are farming. Just take a look at the mines and pumps. You can see that... The gold next to the mine is completely full. Likewise, the elixir pump is completely full. Now, whilst you can clearly see there is some in the storages, I think this base has a lot more in the mines and pumps because you can steal 50% from the mines and pumps and only up to 20% from the storages. It depends on the town hall level. Now, with this one, the splash damages, I can't really get to them surgically. So I think the best option, in all honesty, is actually to keep the giants more condensed towards the splash and then surround with barbarians and archers pretty quickly, but keep them relatively spaced out. So what I like to do as maybe a hand cam here would be helpful. I just literally draw around the screen. Let's get one of those builder huts, I guess, so that you get a nice spread of the archers. Notice that they're not quite standing on top of each other. So a mortar fire wouldn't hit all of them. They would only get a couple of the archers. And it just means you can hopefully condense onto the splash a little bit quicker. Come on, mortar. They do start to clump up towards the end, but once you've got a lot of the loot, that is all that matters. We get a huge amount of loot there. Again, the elixir overflowing. I don't think I can use it. I've got a gold mine to upgrade, so 
I should probably make sure that because whilst it's getting late, I'm going to be online another hour or two, so I should be cycling one of these builders through the gold mine. And the reason I'm doing the upgrades a little bit mismatched is to actually show you that you can do that. So I'm going to do exactly the same with the Elixir Collector, and then overnight I will get one of the more expensive upgrades. But here we go. This was the base after just 24 hours in our first episode moving to one week in the second episode you saw the progress and now it looks completely different obviously one month so a stark difference and i haven't really been super active either i've tried to keep the builders busy but i think the walls particularly i could have ground out a little bit faster town hall six in one month Will we hit Town Hall 7? I will try to max each and every Town Hall level. You will find out in the next episode next month. But if you do want to see our progress and how it was made across the first week, I have it linked on your screen alongside the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.